Hey, good morning you guys. Welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> okay, so this is my overdue video that I've been asked um, so many times to do. But I finally got a chance to do it now because for one, the baby's sleeping. And um, I'm in my bathroom right now, just took a shower. And I said, let me just do this video really quick since he's sleeping and I have time to do it. So this is a video about the products that I use in my hair. Um, first disclaimer is I am not a lactician. I am not a hairdresser. I just know what I use in my hair, what I like, and what works for me. Okay, so what works for me might not work for you, but this is what I use and it works well for me. Next thing is, I am, I wouldn't consider myself a product junkie. And when I say product junkie, which means that I don't really buy that many store brand products, but I do consider myself a, um, I would say an oil junkie, I guess if that's the term, or, you know, uh, I'm obsessed, not really obsessed, but I like my hair to always look nourished and quenched. I don't like my hair to look dry and thirsty, so I'm on cons I like to put things in my hair to make my hair look lustrous and, you know, as healthy as possible. So I'm not a product junkie per se, but I like a lot of oils. So with that said, I'm going to go through what I put in my hair. So I'm going to go through the three, you know, um, the different groups. First of all, when I'm washing my hair, what I use. So washing my hair now, I use, um, I actually still use the Sisalak, um Green. This is the Sisalak Tea Shampoo. And this is what I use in my hair now. Now, I've had my hair, my hair locked for about, for over, for over two years now. And the reason why I still use this is because recently I just combined a few of my locks. I'm not sure if you guys saw my previous video before. So, this is great because it doesn't have all those oils that moisturize your hair. It actually makes your hair hard and it helps it lock together. Previous to this, I wasn't using Sister Lock products. I was using other products. And I started buying this one again because I want my hair that I've combined, the locks that, that I did combine, to really lock together. So before this, I was using this. As you can see, it's upside down because, yeah, that's how we do it. I was trying to get as much as I can out of it. But this is the um, Argon Oil. It's Cream of Nature brand, and it's the Argon Oil. And the reason why I stopped using this, even though I love it, this is really good for if you have, like, you know locks that have been in for years and they're really locked. I stopped using this one only because it would make my hair too slippery and when I combined my locks it would um, unravel them. So when my hair goes back to really really firm strong locks again I will start using this because it makes your hair really lustrous and nice sheen really soft. So I really like this product a lot. So I've stopped using this for now and I'm now using this one. Okay? Okay next. So after I just shampoo my hair a few times, I come out the shower, and then what I do to condition my hair is, I've had this since I first got my locks, and it has lasted me this two years since. A little goes a long way with this one. This is the Sister Locks Moisture Treatment, and what I do is I take about a spoonful, like really just a spoonful. Here's the inside of it. Let me see if I can look good. It's basically white. This is how much I've used. Okay. A spoonful. And what I'll do is I'll put a spoonful and I'll rub it in my hair and I'll just, you know, get in there, get the roots especially. And then after that, I will take my spray bottle of mixture here. And with this, I have olive oil, jojoba oil, and water. And not tap water. This is, um, what is that water you buy in the bottle? Not bottle. I think it's um, distilled water. I don't use tap water um, in my products. So... That's what I have in here, olive, olive oil, jojoba oil, and distilled water. So I put this first, and then I'll spritz this on, and then I'll, you know, fluff it out, and then I'll cover it with a cap, with a, um, one second, I'll show you. Ooh. With a plastic cap like this. I'm sure you guys have seen it, you know, these plastic caps. I'll cover it with that. And then I'll just walk around my house you know, for like half an hour, an hour, or for however long I want to. And the heat just really conditions my hair. And I take the cap off and let my hair, my hair air dry. 
I always let my hair air dry. I don't blow dry my hair. So I usually wash my hair early in the mornings and I wash my hair every two weeks and then I just let it air dry all day long. And that's it for washing my hair. Nothing else. So those are the four products for washing my hair. Next is my daily routine. So I have a nighttime and a morning routine. Very simple. In the morning when I'm going out, like when I wake up and I'm going out, I use my Jamaican mango and lime the island oil here it is one of my favorite products I love it. it smells awesome I just pour a little bit in my hand rub it up together and just shake and go I don't need much of this product only because when I do wash my hair it's already so moisturized from the process that I do that I don't use much of this but I put it in there because it adds a little bit of sheen and it smells great that's my morning routine and my nighttime routine is I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this because this is a big tub, but I use coconut oil every night on my hair. And how I do it is I take some coconut oil out of the jar, put it in my hand, and it's in a solid form. But then when you rub it together, it becomes liquid. And once again, I put it in the hair. And then I tie it down with my scarf, which is this one here. Just going to tie your hair up. And then I go to bed. And the reason why I do that is because... The coconut oil is very great for your hair also. And I do it at night and I tie it up because when I'm sleeping at night, the heat from, you know, the heat in my head basically conditions my hair again. So when I wake up in the morning, it's nice and beautiful and lustrous and conditioned. And then I add this in the morning, which just adds a little bit extra shine to it. So that's it. And the coconut oil, you can buy coconut oil at any grocery store or many different stores. But I have a really big tub of it. And I'm going to show you guys. So please don't laugh. And there's a reason why I have such a big tub of coconut oil, okay? So, this is my coconut oil. <laughs> and the reason why I have such a big tub is because, um, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I do make soaps. I make all natural soaps. And I also make other bath and body products. And coconut oil is one of my essential ingredients making those products. So I always have a lot of coconut oil in my home. Um... Making the soap, I haven't made soap in a while, only because I just have a baby. So I've stopped that temporarily, and I will continue again. But that's why I have so much coconut oil. So just to show you what it looks like, I'll take some out for you. Um, let's see. It's hard to show you, but it's like a solid state like that. And then we rub it together. It becomes liquid like that. And then you just... But it's also good for your skin, so you put it together. And the last product that I do use is this is if I'm styling my hair, which is rare because I really don't style my hair that much. I leave it out like this. But if I am styling my hair, like if I'm doing a flat twist or something like that, I will use the Jamaican Mango and Lime Lock and Gel. And that I'll just use to do my flat twist and it helps my hair lay down really nice, the edges. Um, also, sometimes um, if I have too much frizziness on the tips of my hair, I'll just take some and just wrap it around the tips of my hair to um, combat the frizziness. So, I know that was a long video, but that is my hair routine. Also, another tip, as far as water goes, like I said, I don't use much tap water on my hair. When I am making oils like this, I always use distilled water. And next thing is when I'm taking a shower, my shower does have a um, filter on it. I will show that to you guys. Let me see if I can show you my shower filter. Um, let's see. Let me see. Can you guys see it? Okay. Yeah, that is a filter that's attached to my shower right there. So, I don't use any tap water at all on my hair. Um, it's just, I don't want to take a chance. Um, I don't know what's in the New York City tap water, and I don't put it on my hair or my skin. So if I'm not drinking it, it's not going on my hair or my skin. But yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Any questions, leave them in the comment section. And have a good day, you guys. Get out of my bathroom. <laughs>